In a previous demo, I upgraded my ASXi host from version 4.1 to version 5.1, and I also upgraded my vCenter server. And now what we're going to do in this little demonstration is we're just going to upgrade our VMFS data stores and our virtual machines to the correct version of hardware and VMware tools. So on my ASXi host now, we can see it's 5.1. What I'm going to do is just come to configuration. And what we have here is we have a couple of LUNs which are actually utilized as part of my lab environment. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to power on my two virtual machines. If we just look at the summary of these two virtual machines, we can currently see they're running hardware version 7, which was from my ESX 4.1 environment before I did the upgrade. And what I'm going to do to start with is I'm actually just going to upgrade my VMFS partition. So back to my host, we'll just come to my configuration tab. I'm host B, so I'll go for LUN for B, and what we'll do here is we'll just upgrade to VMFS version 5. We'll click OK at this point here, and what we can see is it's going away, it's doing the upgrade. If we have a look down at the bottom here, we can see it's currently in progress. Wait for it all to refresh, and what we can see, once it's all refreshed, is hopefully we should see that this is now running on version 5. So if we just have a look at this, just have a little scroll down here, have a look at the formatting, and we can indeed see the file system is now VMFS 5.8. And the important thing about this is this can be done dynamically whilst the virtual machines are powered on. So the next thing to do is to actually upgrade the hardware and the VMware tools of my two virtual machines to the latest version based off my 5.1 environment. So I'm going to use Update Manager to do this. So I'll just come back to my home page. I'll just go to my VMs and Templates view. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to attach some baselines. So what we'll do here, just go to my, my VMs folder, click on my Update Manager tab, and what we'll do here is we'll just attach a couple of baselines. And the ones I want to attach are the VMware Tools upgrade to match my host, and my VMware Hardware upgrade to match my host as well. So we'll just click Attach. We've now attached these two baselines. The next thing we want to do is actually just do a scan to see if my two virtual machines comply. I know they don't, but we'll do a scan anyway. And what we want to do a scan here is for VMware Tool Upgrade and VMware Hardware Upgrade. So select our Scan button. It's now going to go away. And as we can see, we've got red blob here, which means that my two virtual machines are non-compliant. So the next thing to do is to actually remediate my virtual machines. So we'll select Remediate. And what we want to do here is we want to do the tools first. So what we'll do here, we'll just click on the little uh, button here to say VMware Tools Upgrade to match my host. And select Next. Happy with the task name, so select next. And what we want to do here is, usually I would keep a snapshot, but I'd only keep it for about these 12 hours. That way I could find out if anything went wrong. But purely for purposes of the demo, I'm not going to take a snapshot of the virtual machine. And select next. Right, if we have a look at the upgrades, so we're going to upgrade the VMware tools to match the host. And select finish. And now what's happening here, if we just scroll this down a little bit, we can see that we're now remediating the the actual tools on these two virtual machines. Now this is going to take about five minutes. We're not going to sit and watch this blue bar move across the screen. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video and return back once the tools have been upgraded. Uh, so this is a good sign. We've got yellow rather than red, but we're not quite green. So what we've done here now is we have actually upgraded the version of the, the VMware tools. The next thing to do now is actually upgrade the hardware. So yet again, we'll just go with the remediate. We will this time upgrade the VMware hardware to match the host, so this should upgrade me to VMX version 9, or hardware version 9, so we'll select next again. Again, I'm happy with the task name. Don't want to take a snapshot, and select next. Then what we'll do, select finish. And we'll allow this to remediate. So what we can see now, we are indeed remediating the entry. And this will take a little while, so don't watch it, we'll just pause the video and return back once the hardware has been upgraded as well. Right, and as we can see now, we've got big green blob. That means we have indeed upgraded the virtual machine hardware and VMware tools. If we just highlight one of our virtual machines, have a look at the summary page, we can indeed see we're running on hardware version 9. Same on the second virtual machine here, we are indeed running on hardware version 9. And that's the end of this very quick demonstration of upgrading my VMFS partition and my virtual machines to be fully compatible with vSphere 5.1. Thank you.